hello students uh, today we'll see uh, the continuous system with longitudinal vibrations now uh, we'll take one uh, uh, exercise so derive the frequency equation of longitudinal vibrations for free free bar with zero initial displacements now uh, in this uh, activity we need to find out the the frequency equation of a longitudinal vibration we know that uh, in continuous system there are uh, different uh, types of loading uh, if uh, the loading is axial then it is the vibrations are called as longitudinal vibration if uh, the loading is transverse then uh, then it is called as transverse vibration and the component is called beam uh, if the loading is torsional then uh, it is torsional vibration with a component called as shaft. So this particular uh, case is longitudinal vibrations with axial type of a loading. So here, this is a, a rod or a bar with axial loading. So we need to find out, uh, derive the frequency equation. So we need to find out the frequency equation uh, for longitudinal vibrations. So longitudinal vibrations means uh, because of the axial loading this uh, beam undergoes displacement. So U. So U is the displacement. Displacement. Now here the boundary conditions are called as free free. So this is this end is free this end is also free so both the ends are free and there is no initial displacement so since both the ends are free and we know that at free end uh, the strain or the rate of change of uh, or strain is zero strain is zero that is that means rate of change of displacement with respect to distance is zero so here also strain is zero. Now what do you mean by strain is zero? That is del u by del x is equal to zero at x equal to zero because here the value of x is zero. Here the value of x is the length. The length of the beam is considered as say L. So here the value of x is L. Here the value of x is zero and uh, the strain at the other free end so del u by del x at x equal to l is also zero so these are the boundary conditions which are provided in the problem and uh, uh, using these boundary conditions we need to find out the frequency equation for the longitudinal vibration now we know that the general solution <coughs> The general solution, solution for longitudinal vibration is given by. So the general solution we have derived in the uh, previous videos, uh, the general equation uh, for the longitudinal vibration is u x comma t because displacement is a function of uh, the uh, distance as well as time is equal to a sine omega n upon the wave propagation velocity into x plus b cos omega n upon c into x multiply by c into sine omega and t plus b cos omega and t. This is the general solution uh, that we have derived for the longitudinal vibration where this a b c and d a b c 
be they are constants which can be obtained by using the boundary conditions so these are the constants which are obtained by using boundary conditions constants obtain using boundary conditions what is c here small c small c is the wave propagation velocity wave propagation velocity and this wave propagation velocity small c is given by under root e by rho so for longitudinal vibration the wave propagation is given by under root e by rho and this omega n omega n is the natural frequency natural frequency okay so this is the general solution of the longitudinal vibration now we put the boundary conditions we have here we have obtained the boundary conditions so boundary conditions is del u by del x is equal to 0 at x equal to 0 now we will differentiate this uh, general uh, equation uh, with respect to x so this is obtained as del u by del x is equal to so this sign becomes cos so a and this omega n upon c cos omega n upon c into x this cos becomes minus sin so minus b omega n upon c sin omega n by c into x and this is multiplied by c so uh, this is uh, function of t so it won't change so it will remain same c sin omega n t plus b cos omega n t so this is a function of time so it is termed as constant for differentiation with respect to x now we uh, put uh, this condition this boundary condition so del u by del x is zero so del u by del x is zero at x equal to zero so this condition is this is zero now here put uh, x equal to zero so x equal to zero means cos zero so cos zero becomes one so here only remains a omega n upon c now sin zero so x is zero so this sin terms become zero and we know that sin zero is zero so entire thing will be zero and this is multiplied by c sin omega n t plus b cos omega n t and this is equated to zero now this entire terms become zero and here a is equal to zero so here we obtain the first arbitrary constant uh, uh a as zero so we put this in this uh, equation so this entire this becomes uh, zero because a is zero so we will write down the equation del u by del x is equal to del u by del x so this becomes zero so minus b minus b omega n upon c sin omega n upon c into x into c sin omega nt 
प्लस डी कॉस ओमेगा एंड टी नाउ वी नो दैट दिस डी यू बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल डी यू बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल सो पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज एल सो दिस बिकम्स माइनस बी अपॉन सी इन टू ओमेगा एन साइन ओमेगा एन सी इन टू एल नाउ दिस एंटायर टर्म्स विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो सो दिस बिकम्स जीरो नाउ दिस एंटायर टर्म बिकम्स जीरो सो दिस विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जीरो सो हियर साइन साइन ओमेगा एन अपॉन सी इन टू एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी नो दैट साइन इज जीरो वी नो दैट वी नो दैट साइन पाई इज जीरो सो हियर साइन एन इन टू पाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो साइन पाई इज जीरो and sin n into pi so here n is number of nodes 1 2 3 4 n is number of nodes number of modes sorry number of modes number of modes in longitudinal vibration so if you see that uh, this is sin omega n upon c into l is equal to 0 and this is sin n into pi into 0 that means this n into pi and this can be equated so here omega n upon c into l is equal to pi into n and from this and from this we can find out the omega n that is the natural frequency as pi into n into c upon l okay and we know that uh, fn is equal to omega n upon 2 pi so here pi into n into c upon l into 2 pi so this pi pi will get cancelled and we know that uh, c here that is wave propagation wave propagation velocity is given by e upon rho so if you put this uh, value then fn is equal to n upon 2l under root e upon root so this is that natural frequency this is that natural frequency uh, for the longitudinal vibration where this n value of n is 1 comma 2 comma 3 and n is number of modes number of modes n is number of modes so this is the natural frequency of the longitudinal vibration uh, frequency equation for longitudinal vibration so here we have derived so in this way you can uh, find out uh, the frequency equation for the different conditions be it uh, free fixed end fixed free end uh in in fixed end the value of displacement is zero and for free end the value of strain is zero okay so by applying these conditions you can easily find out uh, the frequency equation so thank you very much thanks